Welcome to Sky Maiden Musings, created, directed, and presented by Rev. Dr. Dickie Joe Mullen. In this video, Dr. Mullen will talk about numerology, uh, exploring the mystical number sequences and its association with Bible healing. Mystical number sequences. This is Dickie Joe Mullen talking about 111222. 333, 444, and so forth, on to 999. Have you ever seen multiples of three? They appear when least expected and inspire wonderment. When repeating number sequences are observed, they can give pause. Usually the numbers do come in threes, and a number long linked to breakthroughs. The third time is the charm, an old saying goes. You might be shopping at the grocery store and the cashier might give you 777 in change following a purchase. The digits 111 or 333 might appear repeatedly on the clock when you look at it, addresses, or maybe the license plates of cars in traffic. Is there a deeper force at work, trying to call attention to something? Numbers have long been imprinted with metaphysical practices and spiritual messages. Think of 911. As well as observing numbers as omens, the sequences can be employed to enhance the success of your personal affirmations. A guide to the messages encoded in the number of multiples can be related to the astrological rulerships of numbers. 111, a new door opens, thoughts manifest, it's time to begin. Astrologically, the one is a Sun and Leo influence. It's all about your personal individuality, finding identity and willpower. It encourages leadership. Adopt a take charge attitude. The triple one accents new beginnings and shows how to shine. Two, two, two. All will be well in the end if you see the two, two, two. Keep your faith strong in the powers of good to overcome evil. Two is the number of the moon and the zodiac sign of cancer. Emotional experiences, the need for balance and harmony amid the waxing and waning of fate. It's the number of partnership. Someone comes along to support you when the 222 appears. 333 is particularly interesting as higher beings such as saints, angels, and ascended masters can offer guidance and protection. This is an omen of growth and good fortune. Often called the perfect number, three relates to the benevolent planet Jupiter, the planet of expansion and luck. It relates to the zodiac signs of Sagittarius and secondarily to Pisces. Three has a positive message for any events involving travel or animal companions. Four, four, four. Think of the four sides of the square. Grounding and support come to us here. The base is solid. Fear not. Things are down to earth. A peaceful connection is on the way. The sides of the square. It's all about parameters and practicalities. The four, four, four serves as a reminder to respect tradition, the work ethic, as a predictable outcome. The planet Saturn and the sign of Capricorn are with us here. Five, 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 mercurial, growth and creativity abound. There's a sense of rebirth and release. The five relates to ideas, duality, restlessness. When it appears as a multiple, the astrological signs of Gemini and Virgo the Mercury ruled signs are suggested. 666 is a number that can give us pause. There's a need for balance and not to let material and selfish motives rule us. It's true and idealistic. There's a spiritual tradition of this being a negative number of the mark of the beast, 666. 
selfishness, materialism, sensuality, and indulgence can be the six at its worst. Think of Miss Piggy and smile. Hopefully this analogy can remind you that humor is the most effective weapon against evil. Facing and overcoming the negative and possessive side of Venus to think of beauty and love triumphing. Venus and the Taurus Libra influences of the Venus ruled signs help us to understand the positive attributes of 666. Seven is perhaps the most mystical and complex of numbers. 777 rewards come your way following good work. Seven is the number of the divine, uplifting and uprising, celestial and blessed influences are suggested. Seven is a prime number, rich with rich mystical significance. The chakras in the body, colors in the rainbow, musical notes in the scale. Biblically, seven is the number of God and heaven. Divine intervention, unique blessings are manifesting. Uranus and the sign of Aquarius are astrological links to the seven. 888, generosity and abundance. Timing is good. The 888 is an omen of financial success. Eight is an elegant and powerful number. It marks an entry into circumstances and places of privilege. Business enterprises go well with the eight bringing the freedom to rise above material needs. Reflect upon the cosmic lemmascot, the number eight on its side. It appears in the Tarot and different occult doctrines. Astrologically, the eight relates to Neptune, which is a higher octave of the benevolent Venus. The sign of Pisces is especially affiliated with eight, the end of the zodiac, the last sign of the zodiac, before we move further. 999 reminds us that we have a last minute chance to do all the good we can. The role is to enlighten others, to share wealth and understanding. It's a philosophical number of elevated consciousness and charity. Things are culminating before they begin over again with the one. There's an alpha and omega quality to the nine. Reflect upon coming across to others who are struggling, new heights beyond the status quo, the plateau. We're looking at Mars, the energy planet, and Pluto, the dwarf planet, which is said to be a higher octave of Mars, the zodiac signs of Aries and Scorpio. Be aware of number sequences and synchronicities when they appear. They really do bring important messages, reassurance, encouragement, sent by higher consciousness somehow, through angels or other divine beings, or perhaps the higher self. A very good way to solve problems through numbers involves the Psalms in the Bible. And the Bible, of course, has so many spiritual, astrological, mystical messages encoded in it. The 150 Psalms are used in this beautiful and esoteric Christian healing technique, which I learned from a gentleman who was studying to be an Episcopal priest many years ago. To employ this, you need about a quarter of a cup of pure olive oil, an index card and pin, pen, and your Bible. In the evening, when a difficulty concerns you, sit quietly and write the problem down on the index card. Suppose that you're looking for an affordable place to live and just can't find something, for example. Now, write down your birth date. We'll assume December 15, 1954, for sake as an example and add the numbers 12 for the month of December. If you were born in January, it would be a 1, February a 2, and then the day of the month, the 15th, if that's your birthday, the 7th, or whatever day of the month, and then birth year. 
1954. Don't cut off the 19 or the 2000. Be sure to add all the numbers together. For December 15, 1954, if we add all of that up, it's 1981. The next step is to add 1 plus 9 plus 81. That will all add up to 19. The 19th Psalm would work here. We can go further and add 1 and 9 to get 10, and 1 plus 0 to get 1. So there's several possibilities. Intuitively select just one. And then um, take a small dish and pour the quarter of a cup of olive oil over the index card upon which you've written the problem. Then read through the psalm and retire for the night. Often answers come in dreams or that first aha moment upon awakening. The next morning, wake up, um, look at what you wrote on the index card. It's possible to save the oil to anoint oneself or a spiritual candle. Read through the psalm again and very likely an answer will come as to, in this case, where to look for affordable housing or other things that might be helpful. Um, this often works, if not with the first psalm, with the second or third attempt. Most birthdays will give us several of the different num num numbers and combinations to use. This is astrologer and metaphysician Dickie Joe Mullen in Orlando, Florida.